I'm Jeff Mowat. In this video, I'm going to share tips for motivating young employees. For over 30 years, managers have brought me in to provide customer service training for their teams. I know from experience that some managers are becoming increasingly frustrated with the attitudes of some of their younger employees. Maybe that's true for you. You're a manager who has paid your dues. Over a lifetime, you've learned how to honor your commitments, communicate well with others, and make a positive contribution on the job. To you, it seems like common sense, and that's the problem. Those high-performing habits that are second nature for you are completely foreign to some young employees. So in this video, I'll share three reasons managers are increasingly frustrated with younger employees. Be sure to watch this right to the end, because I'm also going to share how to motivate young employees to provide exceptional customer service. Our first reason why some young employees frustrate managers, participation medals. Need I say more? Years ago, when our daughters were about four and six years old, we enrolled them in a local community soccer league. And the idea was they get some exercise and learn about teamwork. If you can consider teamwork to be 22 kids clustered around a ball, chasing it all over, including the goalie by the way. Well, anyway, at the year-end wrap-up, they award participation medals to everyone. Pardon? Gosh, if anyone should receive a medal, it should be the parents for driving the kids, for heaven's sake. Kids raised receiving medals for simply showing up are going to eventually face the harsh reality that in the work world, you don't get rewarded just for showing up on time. There's no second place at work for simply participating. You either earn the customer's business or they do business somewhere else and you lose 100% of the revenues. There's no, okay, second place, you got it, you did pretty well. Doesn't work that way at work as you know. Quick reminder, be sure to subscribe below so that as I release new videos, you'll get a heads up. The second reason some young employees frustrate managers, no more F grades. Many school boards are now prohibiting teachers from issuing F fail grades to students who neglect to turn in assignments. Instead, the teachers are supposed to give them the average of the grades of all the assignments they handed in prior to that. What? <laughs> It's so like they get in the work world and, hey, boss, I know I forgot to order those critical parts, but can you give me credit because last year I ordered a lot on time? <laughs> Nuts. The third reason why some young employees are frustrating managers is what I call anti-social media. Put two strangers together on a park bench or a bus stop and you won't typically now get a conversation about the weather. Instead, at least one of them will pull out a phone and start scrolling. The art of small talk is fading fast. And without exercising those conversational muscles, they atrophy. At work, the habit of tuning out strangers can often translate into customers being ignored. That's a problem for employees of all ages. It just happens that younger employees happen to be more engaged online and more prone to develop the dismissive habit. I have a question for you, and I'm going to ask you to respond to that by emailing me at jeff at jeffmullet.com or by answering online below. Which do you think is hurting work performance the most? A, we're rewarded just for showing up. B, there's no such thing as failure. Or C, a lack of social skills. What do you think? I'd love to hear from you. Well, the good news in all this is there is hope. Enough with the reasons that managers are increasingly frustrated with young employees. I also promised I'd share how to motivate young employees. And here it is, the simple solution to motivating today's young employees is one word, training. But not just training on technical skills, employees need to be equipped with skills on how to communicate with both internal and external customers on how to gain and keep trust. Fortunately, today's young employees are amazingly fast learners, especially when you involve them in the training. For example, in my Trusted Advisor Customer Service seminars, I ask employees, okay, how long should it take to acknowledge someone, a customer, when they walk onto the premises? And oftentimes people say, okay, maybe within five minutes, or we, cut, we say, well, that seems like too long. And then I ask them, how about two minutes? And people go, well, that still might be a long time. How about one minute? Well, maybe. And then I go, 30 seconds? And they're all like, yeah, that sounds reasonable. So then I say, well, imagine you're walking into my restaurant and it takes me 30 seconds to acknowledge you. I'm the host, but I'm busy sitting somebody else. And then I count off. I say, ready? You're walking in right now. I count off 30 seconds and they're sitting there and they're going, 
by the end of 30 seconds, they're going, holy man, that took a long time. And then I talk about, okay, all we need to do is acknowledge customers right away and so on. We go from there. The good news is they lock it in right away. They get it and they start acknowledging customers more quickly. We just need to have them experience it vicariously so that they apply it appropriately on the job. So automatically, they're learning how to earn and keep trust more quickly. Well, the bottom line is this. As a seasoned manager, chances are you grew up learning the importance of keeping commitments and also learning a lot about communication skills because, frankly, you didn't have a lot of TV shows to watch necessarily growing up. When I grew up, we had three channels and we also didn't have social media to prevent us from actually communicating with people. The reality is that society's approach to uh, raising children and parenting was a lot different then. There's no point in lamenting that younger workers may lack your work ethic or social graces. Rather than being discouraged by younger employees, consider becoming a mentor to them and giving them the kind of skills that they really need. Well, I hope you found this to be helpful. And if you like this video, I think you're going to love my 30 second tips. You'll find them for free at jeffsbusinesstips.com. See you next time.